Today I'm going to show you how to get a tuner in Reaper that you can bring up at any time, zero friction, just one button to show it and hide it. Hi Reaper friends, I'm Alejandro Hernandez and I hope you're doing well today. Now in this video I'll guide you through every single step but I just want to remind you that all of the steps are also in the description below so if you prefer to follow along with that that's also fine. And hey if you find this helpful make sure to click the like button it really helps the channel with the algorithm so it'd be much appreciated. Let's get started. First we need to set up the tuner track and for this we will create a new track and call it tuner. We can mute this track because we don't really need to hear it. Now click the record arm button and set the input to whatever your instrument's input usually is. In my case my guitar is on input 2, so I'm gonna go with that. You can also go stereo or whatever. Now right click on record arm and select record disable input monitoring only. This is gonna prevent the track from actually recording so you can have the tuner while you're recording. Now let's add the tuner plugin and in this case we're gonna use Reattune. I recommend setting this to 200 milliseconds and the overlap to 8 adds. It just makes it more precise. At this point you can test if your tuner is working. You can just play your guitar and if you see it that it works, it works. By the way, this works super well on bass with the settings. One super cool thing that you can do with this is that you can right click on it and show embedded UI in TCP. And now you will have a tuner right there in your track. Lastly, let's just make this pretty. I like to have it around that size and also I like a red color there you go lastly let's just save this as a track template so right click on the track save track as a template and you can just call this tuner and just save all right now that you saved your track as a template you can pretty much just load this as a template by right click on the track panel add track from template and select your tuner template. You can leave this tuner track in your session all the time, no problem. You can even add it to your default template. Personally though, I get so distracted with this thing on the session, so I came up with a pretty cool way to show it and hide it really quickly. It's not super straightforward, it does require a little bit of setup, but I think it's very worth it. For this thing to work, you need the SWS extension and repack. And for more info on that, check out the description below. Now this is where it gets fun. I wanted to find a way where you could just press one key and load the template that we just made and also the same key to delete it from the session. And no matter where you're focusing with your mouse or having to grab your mouse and select something and delete it, I wanted none of that, just zero friction, just one key. So I came up with a pretty cool cycle action. Let me show you how it works. All right, there's two things we need to do. First, we need to create a script that will select the tuner in your session. And it's actually quite simple, hear me out. There's a script that allows you to easily make the script that we want. That's Reaper. All right, let's open the actions window and type select track by name. So it should be this one. Click run. And where it says name must match, just type tuner. And I think that's it. You can press go to test it. You will see that it's going to select the track called Tuner. And once we're ready, we can support the preset and call it Select Tuner. So now you should have a script in your actions called Select Tuner. And when you run it, it's going to select the tuner. And this is going to be pretty helpful in the next step. Now the second and last thing is to create the cycle action. Now go to the SWS menu and click on Cycle Action Editor. You're going to click here, Add Cycle Action and call this show high tuner. Make sure to also enable the toggle option. You can just click in there. All right, now we're ready to start building our cycle action. So just open the actions menu and leave it on the side like that. And the first action we're gonna add is create and select first track. So you're gonna select it. And then in here, you're gonna right click, add selected action, and that's it. We're gonna be doing the same for the next actions. The next action is apply track template one same thing we're gonna add it in here now we're gonna right click in here and select add step let's add the script we made which is select tracks by name tuner this one so same thing let's add selected action and there you go now lastly remove items not prompting this one select that put it in here now make sure you have the same exact order in here 
So first it's gonna create and select the first track and then it's gonna apply the track template we just made in there. Then when you click it again, it's gonna find the tuner. It's gonna pretty much select the track that's called tuner and it's gonna remove it with no prompting. That's basically how it works. Now we can hit apply and this should appear, show high tuner like that. And we can test if it works. Let's see, if we run this action, a tuner should appear. And if we run it again, the tuner should disappear. That's how it should work. You can also set a shortcut to it. I like to use my numpad to bring it up and close it. And yeah, that's it. Now you can tune. And then when you're done tuning, just make it disappear. Super cool. Now, if for some reason it doesn't work, make sure you follow the steps correctly. Make sure the order is correct of your cycle action, your input is correct and all that stuff. And if you're still having trouble, I'll be down in the descriptions ready to help you. And that's it. Now you see the potential cycle actions. They can be really cool, uh, especially when you want to do things like toggles or things that require like steps or some logic behind it. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm uploading a bunch of Reaper tips in there as well. Hope you have a wonderful day and see you next time. Bye bye.